Hey everybody, I'm here today to talk to you about an Epson ET-2760 that is printing blank pages. I'll be going over some easy fixes in this simplistic tutorial. Let's get right into the video. There are seven easy things that you can try to do to hopefully fix this problem on your printer. And I'll even probably tell you a bonus one at the end as long as I remember to do it. So stay tuned till the end and I'll tell you about a bonus one that actually worked for me and it fixes the majority of problems with the majority of printing problems with this specific printer. So let's get right into the video. Number one, is there ink? I know this is a simple question and you're probably like, of course there's ink, but just check your ink levels. As you can see right here, make sure there's actually ink and make sure you have a significant amount of ink. If you just have a tiny little bit of ink in there, then maybe that's part of the problem. Maybe it cannot access that little bit of ink that's left over. So make sure that there's ink. Number two, clean the blocked nozzles. Now, there are a few ways to clean the blocked nozzles, okay? And you can access those through your maintenance menu. So if you go here on your main home screen and you scroll uh, all the way, you're gonna find a maintenance menu and on the maintenance menu you can clean the print nozzles okay it's really really easy to do and <clears throat> it's really really quick and it, it does it for you you select the option and it cleans them for you it does use a bit of ink it cleans them for you okay um, number three okay try to print in black and white and also color to see if it's only one type of printing if it's printing blank pages and you've only tried to print in black and white then maybe you have a problem with just your black ink with your monochromatic ink okay uh, that's another way of saying just black and white is monochromatic just so you understand what I'm talking about and then if you try and print in color and it prints then maybe it's not that it's printing blank blank pages maybe it's a problem specifically with that ink cartridge uh, not cartridge but with that ink in there because this is an eco take printer you load the ink in there freely so maybe it's a problem with that specific type of ink within that specific tank for the ink okay so try black and white and color printing see if you can narrow it down number four update the printer's firmware right now when I turn my printer on it's prompting me that there's an update in the firmware okay it should update once you give it the go ahead it should be able to update wirelessly um, from what I remember the last time that I did a firmware update but it's important to keep it up to date because with certain updates they fix certain problems they fill in certain gaps maybe the problem that you're experiencing will have been fixed in the next firmware update so if it's prompting you to update the firmware make sure you do it and just make just check what firmware your printer is running on because maybe there is an updated one and maybe you have to manually do it as well okay number five okay update the printer's driver on the computer that you're using now if you're using if you're printing wirelessly from a phone you don't really have to worry about updating a driver and it will automatically you know update as needed for whatever you need to the printer to do but if you're printing from a computer there's going to be a driver that's associated with this specific printer as drivers get out of date, just like the printer's firmware, it can cause a problem in printing. And maybe with the updated driver, they fix that problem. So update the driver for the printer on your computer and hopefully it fixes the problem. Number six, try to print a different document or photo. Maybe the problem is not in the printer, but it's in the document or photo that you're trying to print. So if it's printing blank pages and I'm continually printing the same document over and over again, maybe the problem is in that document and not in the printer. Try printing either a different photo or a different document and just see you know, if it works. Even try printing a different file type. Maybe you're just trying to print a dot doc so dot doc but maybe you have to try and print a dot pdf and maybe that will work experiment to try and narrow down your problem okay last but not least is number seven which is you can actually reset the printer you can either factory reset it completely or reset specific settings and set it up again luckily for you it doesn't take that long to reset the printer it doesn't take that long to set it up again so with that being said you know maybe it's worth it for you to just reset it set it up again and see if that helps your problem lastly like i said i was going to give you a bonus one as long as i remembered and I did remember I'm gonna give you an eighth one which is do a power cleaning on the printer heads especially if you factory reset it and it still doesn't fix a problem then it's likely a, a hardware problem with the printer heads or with the ink levels whatever the case is uh, with the ink getting to the printer heads doing a power cleaning will use up a significant amount of ink it's actually easy to do but go ahead and look up how to do it because it's a whole other video okay I, I'm gonna do a whole separate video on it look up how to do it separately but it will clean the printer heads I was having a problem specifically with my magenta color and it was not printing magenta right I did a power clean I tried everything else it didn't work I did a power cleaning and it works so well now okay so maybe you're having a problem with all of your 
colors. If you haven't used a printer in a while, let's imagine. And doing a power cleaning will clear up those printer heads and hopefully fix that problem and get you to not print, print blank pages anymore and get some real printed pages and be able to use your printer properly. That's basically it. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.